Journalist Anderson Cooper spoke at the Bob Carpenter Center Wednesday, telling a sold-out crowd about his experiences covering national and international events for CNN and ABC News. Cooper, the host of Anderson Cooper 360 on CNN, was the inaugural speaker of the UD Speaks Lecture Series. He talked about his emotional experiences covering war and genocide, and took questions from the audience about current international affairs. Covering Hurricane Katrina was the most memorable event he has reported on, he said. Cooper, who graduated from Yale University in 1989, said he wasn't sure at first what he wanted to do for a living, but was eventually drawn to war reporting. Um, I, I never actually studied journalism, uh, but I'd always been interested in news and television, and, and particularly the experiences of, of war correspondents during Vietnam. I, I read a lot about them, and I, and I left high school a semester early and, rip, and rode in a truck across sub-Saharan Africa for several months. And, and Africa had really opened my eyes and sort of quickened my pulse. It was the first time I'd, I'd had to talk my way through a roadblock. It was the first time I'd had a gun pointed at me in anger, um, as opposed to what? I guess in love. Um, I don't know why I said that. Um, but, but I really, each country in Africa is so different than the other geographically and, and, and ethnically and, and, and socially. And I fell in love with, with those differences and the vitality of the places and, and the people that I visited. And when I graduated, I decided that whatever I wanted to do it had to involve travel. And, and, that, uh, and since I read a lot about being a war correspondent, I decided I'd try to become a, a foreign correspondent. And the problem, of course, is, is that it's a very difficult job to get. It's a diff difficult business to break into. And I applied for an entry-level job at ABC News, but, but I, didn't, I could not get this job, which shows you the value of a Yale education. So you're very lucky that you're here, because uh, you can probably get a job. In, in the end, I, I came up with a plan. Um, since no one would give me a chance, I would have to take a chance, and since no one would give me an opportunity, I decided I'd have to try to create my own opportunity. So my thinking was that if I went to places that were really dangerous, there wouldn't be many other people trying to be, be there, uh, so I wouldn't have much competition, so I could then become a reporter. Um, so since I wanted to be a war correspondent, I decided I would just start going to wars. Be sure to pick up Tuesday's edition of The Review to see Managing News Editor Jen Hines' exclusive interview with Anderson Cooper. Reporting from the Bob Carpenter Center, I'm Josh Shannon.